A 5K in Georgetown has become a community inspiration. The Finley 5K started four years ago as a way to raise awareness of sudden infant death syndrome. Today, a little girl used the race to turn her own tragedy into triumph. And it just kind of started with an idea, and I went to Samantha with it, and I was like, do you think we can do this? When Stacy Wilson and Samantha Eddington heard their friends, Dwayne and Chrissy Ellison, had lost their three-month-old son to SIDS, they knew they had to do something. One morning, I woke up, and I was getting ready to do a 5K, and I thought, what if we did one of these for the Ellisons? What was supposed to be a few hundred people grew to more than a thousand. Every year it gets bigger and bigger. This is our biggest year yet. Uh, me and my best friend Stacy started it uh, four years ago. This is the fourth year. In Scott County, you can, you can bet if, if there's a tragedy or if there's an issue, mm -hmm. people are going to rally. There is one runner that is hoping to add to that inspiration. <laughs> Katie Eddington, Samantha's daughter, ran her first 5K with her new prosthetic leg. Katie was in a mowing accident in 2013. She runs quite a bit. Um, she got this blade a couple months ago, and she's just she just took off running. Katie's goal was to run the race in just less than an hour. Let's go for Katie! And with one last stretch to the finish line, Katie got her goal. More than 1,300 people raced in this year's Finley 5K.